Everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, leave your feedback, question. I've got a fun video today. I'm going to be talking about fashion, five of my favorite looks from red carpets and other events. So the bulk of my professional career was actually spent in academia, which is not necessarily the most glamorous sort of field. But fortunately for me, my husband is in luxury real estate in Beverly Hills, California. So it really doesn't get any more glam and luxurious than that. Because of his job, I get to go to a lot of different fun events and get dressed up and get dolled up and feed that part of my personality. It's always so much fun. I can't wait to start posting get ready with me videos. But today I wanna to go through five of my favorite looks. Let's jump right in with number one. I absolutely love this two-piece dress that I got at Ted Baker. I love the color. It's just this beautiful kind of fuchsia purple color that just pops off my skin. I love the fact that it's two-piece. I love the fact that it has pockets. I've actually worn it to a couple of events. I am a person who I do wear my stuff more than once. I usually will let statement pieces sit and marinate for maybe a year or two before I bring them out of my closet again. But if there's a dress that I love and I feel great about it when I wear it and I feel like I look great in it, I definitely will wear it more than once. So one of my favorite stylings was the night that I wore this dress to the Anti-Defamation League Gala. The Anti-Defamation League is a Jewish non-governmental organization based in the United States. The aim is to uh, stop the defamation of Jewish people here in the United States, but also internationally. I attended as a guest of Nicole Whiteman, who is the head of the LA Dodgers Foundation. She has been the executive director for a while. I think she was recently promoted, so you get it, Nicole. We were really blessed that in the first year of our foundation, we were able to honor her for her efforts in helping assist underserved youth in playing sports in Los Angeles through the LA Dodgers Foundation. So yes, we're Dodgers fans around here. Go Dodgers. And definitely go Nicole. I love this dress. I just love this dress. I love the styling. I felt so Michelle Obama in this because it's elegant and sophisticated, but still with that kick of personality. And I think Michelle Obama does that really well. That's one thing I love about the way she styles herself is that she's willing to take risks. So I think that this dress has a little bit of risk in the color and in the fact that it's two piece and just those pockets. And it's such a beautifully made dress with just beautiful buttons down the back of the top and it's very um, structured material. You can't help but look good. Um, you know, even as a mother of two, I feel comfortable with the way that this dress splits. So love it, love it, love it. The second dress goes in a completely different direction. This is a dress that's almost, I guess, under the genre bandage dress uh, I wore to the LA Art Show. Uh, I love the color, black and white. It really stood out. I felt like it was very artsy and appropriate to what it was that I was attending. I just have to show the texture of the dress because it's difficult to imagine. It's basically polyurethane with a spandex lining. So it's just stitched like this. Very, very interesting. It's, the dress in and of itself is a piece of art, so it was appropriate to wear to the art show. I just styled it with neon pink, basically, to make it all stand out. I had a neon pink overcoat. I had a beautiful bag by Ted Baker, also, that I had received as a gift from my best friend, Athea, when I matriculated into my PhD program. So it's just a little clutch wallet that was really cute and it really was a great contrast to the black and white which I treated as a neutral in this styling. It was a really fun night and it ended up being really cool because we ran into Sarah Gafferty from Suits uh, which is a show that was on USA. It's the show that Meghan Markle was on. We were watching Suits long before Meghan Markle was engaged to Prince Harry. 
It was a really fun show. I think you can binge watch it now. I really loved everything about this dress. I felt like it was artistic and interesting, but also kind of fun, a little racy, a little sexy. It worked for the event that I was going to. The LA Art Show is a really fun event. They've got a lot of amazing, talented artists, known artists and up and coming artists. It's something I definitely recommend checking out if you're in the LA area. The third look is from BCBG's Runway Collection. I love this dress, I love this dress. It's funny because when I first took it off the rack, it looked a little boxish, but then when I put it on, it fit like a glove. It... I love the cream color. I think it's a really nice choice, an unexpected choice for summer evenings. I styled it with turquoise jewelry, which was fantastic. The dress has an indigenous inspiration. It's got suede lacing and suede tassels. I had my long, straight black hair to just add more drama and contrast to the entire look. The dress really complemented my legs. I have a 36 inch inseam, I have really long legs. So it's nice sometimes to wear a shorter dress to really show off that asset, my long legs. I felt confident, I felt comfortable, but I like how the length of the dress, the shorter length of the dress is balanced by the longer sleeves. So I still felt classy. I just love the dress. I just absolutely love this dress. I will be wearing it again. Like I said, I do wear dresses more than once when I am in love with them. I might have to let this one simmer a little bit longer than usual because we were photographed and our pictures made it into Modern Luxury Angelino Magazine the month after this event. But it's definitely validating. I thought I looked fly and clearly other people do too. Lang dress that I also wore for another modern luxury event. It was a red carpet event hosted at Sofitel Hotel in Beverly Hills. Glam, 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 glam. So this dress is amazing because the material is this beautiful, rich satin, which is completely unforgiving, but thank God that the cut is completely forgiving. So I felt really comfortable and confident again as a mother of two. Things change after children. There was more of a swanky kind of vibe in the evening at this event and I just felt like this was so perfect for that. I also styled it with this great vegan fur jacket that Kofi had gotten me either for my birthday or Mother's Day. It was this beautiful purple color and it just complemented that navy blue so nicely. That was also a fun night. I ran into some people that night too that I really love and respect. And again, I think I was killing it not just in my own mind but in the minds of other people because we also landed in the magazine in the About Town section the next month. That's kind of the marker for me. That might be the standard bar. If I go to the event and my photo makes it into the magazine covering the story on that event the next month, then I know I nailed it. final look is this beautiful dress by Nicole Bakhti that I wore for our very first Modern Luxury Angelino Magazine Power Couple photo shoot. This was a really special honor for us the first time and the second time, but the first time it was just amazing to have been recognized for the things that we've been trying to do professionally but also within our community. I wanted to choose a dress that was exciting and exuded a lot of personality and would distinguish us from the other couples that had been named to the list of power couples in LA. At the same time, I wanted there to be a classic sense to the entire photo shoot. And it was also important that I was able to coordinate in a way with Kofi. I just thought that it would bring a kind of coherence to the entire shoot. I love the black and gold. I felt like it was so regal. Kofi was able to find a tie that matched perfectly to the gold accent in my dress. The dress itself had a bit of a halter cut, which is really flattering for me. It also had a really, really high split that was really exciting. All right, another funny behind the scenes fact about this photo shoot is that when I wore the heels that I had selected for this dress, a pair of Bagley Mishka shoes that I love, 
I was actually taller than Kofi in the photo shoot. I'm six feet tall, he's six two. So when I put on these heels, I was taller than him and it was kind of complicating the picture. So I actually shot this barefoot and then later the photographer photoshopped my shoe back on my foot. <laughs> inside baseball right there. As you can see from the behind the scene photos, we had a lot of fun at this photo shoot. I wanted to compliment Kofi, but I also wanted to pick a dress that would communicate my own personality and my own point of view, because I think that that's the essential underlying theme of a power couple. You've got two people who are each independently dynamic, but also have a coherence and a unity and a bond that's communicated.